Stay. Don't. Don't over front, over load it. It's too much weight, too much weight. Armed and recording. That was loud. What's up everybody, my name is Larry G and I'm here to give you some motivation for your Monday. Second Monday of the year and I want to continue my motivational Monday thing that I kinda half-assed started. If you've been following me on Instagram for a while, then you will have noticed that one of these days this past week, I did not go to the gym. And I specifically wrote that post because I know at the beginning of the year, a lot of people wanna go really hard. They wanna hustle their face off, especially in what is considered hustle culture now. And especially with it being 2020, a new year, a new decade, I think it's really important to talk about rest and pacing yourself because I heard and saw, I think it was Matt Diavella, um, or some, some motivational YouTuber that I saw, it was like, you can't expect to go full speed when you haven't even been walking. And you can't expect to go full speed for long periods of time if you haven't trained for it. I think that makes sense. Like you can't rush out of the gate and you can't like go super fast for super long. You can't run a marathon if you've never even stepped on the treadmill or taken a lap around the park. You know, so I think pacing yourself and learning to pace yourself is a very important part of forming habits and keeping those habits and making those habits last. I know it's really popular this time of year to be like, all right, I'm gonna go to the gym every day and I'm gonna eat healthy every day. And then you mess up a week or two in and you're like, oh, F this, I'm done. You don't need to do that. I think I touched on it last week. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Pace yourself. If you can't go to the gym every day, it's okay. If you don't want to go to the gym every day, it's okay. Understand that you need to learn how to pace yourself and take rests. And I know I keep saying pace yourself. And what I mean by that is the new year started on Wednesday. I went to the gym that Monday before the new year, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I took the weekend off, so no Saturday and Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, I went to the gym. Wednesday, I was like, I'm not feeling it. Like, I, I didn't get enough sleep. I hadn't been getting enough sleep. And so I was like, I'm not about to kill myself. I'm not about to destroy my body for something that I want in the future. Like I'm, I'm willing to work for it, but I'm not willing to put myself into a position where I'm gonna have to end up taking days or even a week or two off from the gym. I'd rather just miss that one day, catch up on some sleep, get some rest, uh, regroup, refocus, and then go back the next day. So that's what I mean by pace yourself. It's, it's okay to take a break and miss a day and rest and listen to your body. I'm not saying, you know, quit and give up. I'm just saying listen to your body because you, you would rather listen to it in the beginning when it's like, I'm tired, I'm not feeling this, than to push it too hard and then end up missing like a week or two or what have you from the gym or whatever your habit is. I'm just using the gym as an example because it's mine. Anyway, the point of this video, and I know I've said it a lot already, learn to pace yourself. Life is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Forming habits is a marathon, not a sprint. Anything you want that you're not used to, think of it like a marathon. You have to train, you have to get ready, you have to put yourself in the right mindset, and you have to take baby steps. And when you take those baby steps, then you can start crawling, walking, running, doing the thing. But until then, learn how to listen to your body and pace yourself. Those are two things I want you guys to think about and work on this week. I will be thinking about them and working on them as well. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and uh, comment down below on what your goals are and what you're working towards and what your marathon is. So I appreciate that. Like I said, my name is Larry G and you can believe that. What I was trying to do was hold this up so that my phone could be a teleprompter, but it's not working. I got eight minutes on this thing. So yeah, I talked for a while, even though like the last two minutes was me just goofing off and being weird.